blammo time. Right there, up on top of the hill. Well, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Hartung Family Farms. Kind of. Welcome to day one of Iowa's shotgun deer season. So today, we are, this video has nothing to do with farming, but in a sense, it does because, <coughs> oh gosh. Because on this channel, guys, I aim to bring you guys everything that happens on our farm. And honestly, hunting is a big way of life on our family. Everybody on the farm hunts, everybody. Because if you guys don't know, we farm some ground in Eastern Iowa and a little bit of the driftless region that comes down from Wisconsin. And what that basically means is it's rough ground. It's up and down, it's hilly. You can't row crop farm at all like Central Iowa. So in order to make it work, you have to basically farm the hilltops and you gotta have cattle in there. But kind of the consequences of that is you got a really awesome population for deer. So in order to manage that and not have them overpopulate, which if they overpopulate, more crash on the road, more damage to our crops, which we don't like either of them. So we do a hunting practice called deer drives. I'm gonna, I'll explain a little bit more, but essentially what we do is we walk through the timber and we push the deer out because if we didn't, there would not be enough, uh, essentially there would not be enough deer harvested and that's just not a good deal all the way around because of the aforementioned you know, reasons. But anyway, let's go ahead. Let's go grab some breakfast. I'm late. It's 10 minutes to shooting hour. So I'm gonna go hopefully grab a cup of coffee, leave, uh, leave something behind in the bathroom. Let's get moving. And if you guys don't like deer drives, I respect your opinion, that's okay. Feel free to click away from this video right now, but deer drives, like I said, is a very common practice in our area. It's, I don't think it's unethical at all. And if we didn't do it, like I said, there would not be enough deer harvested, so let's get moving. Well, good morning, it's about five o'clock. It's the day, deer hunt morning. I'm just getting set up, we're just getting loaded up here. I got guns, four guns, Bob, Ron and myself, my brother Steve. Uh, the four gun owners in there and then we have lots of orange vest hats coats whatever gun sleeves lots of shells and we have plenty of snacks Ooh, yes we're just getting loaded up getting ready to go because we're gonna go after these things today Do -do -do -do. Do -do -do -do. we're going after those deer not that deer there's robert so, <laughs> well, the meetings of the minds has concluded. We are ready to go. We got a plan. We know who's doing what. We're heading off to the first drive. It's uh, 15 minutes after shooting hours has started. And in typical us fashion, we are always late. But hey, we are out of there by seven. That is awesome. <laughs> it is, it, it just is what it is for our group. So I'm gonna go drop my car off at the deer shed. I'm gonna get picked up and we're gonna head north. We're gonna do the first drives that we did the last couple years. And I'm gonna be in the same spot that I have been in the previous years. If you guys are curious, I have done hunt deer hunting videos the last three years, and I, I feel like I've done a good job portraying my growth as a deer hunter, as well as my growth as kind of a, a videographer explaining it to you guys. So link to this playlist right here, it's our hunting playlist. Um, just take a look at any Iowa deer drives, Iowa shotgun deer drives. You can see I have videos from 18, 19, and 2020. So check it out. But what we are doing is we are doing a thing called deer drives, where basically we have two distinct groups of people. We have blockers and we have drivers. The driver has just slowly meander the way through the timber, up getting basically walking towards the, the, dry, the blockers. The blockers set up and just form a wall at the edge of the timber. And basically what we will do is, oh, missed my turn. And the drivers just meander the way through just to get the deer moving, not sprinting. We don't want to spook them, but we want to get them moving. So. That way uh, the driver, the blockers have a better shot. So I'm gonna go drop my car off. I gotta drive an extra mile out of the way it seems like because Bellevue's got like no uh, railroad crossings anymore. Then we'll head up north. Well, as you see it's starting to get light out. <clears throat> I think there's 17 of us. We're gonna try to shoot a few deer today, harvest them. We got my chauffeur today, James Clausen. Greetings, salutations, Jackson County. We'll see you out deer. there. Deer! Deer. All right, Robert, you're gonna start walking. So, like I said, don't walk close this way. Like, kind of walk straight up over the hill and just basically stay away from the timber a little ways and just wrap around. What a nice gal. I, I know. What do you know, Macy? Yep. Alright, here we go. I forgot 
my other GoPro with the actual mic, so it is what it is. So we're gonna take the four wheel over there. Yes, our guns are in sleeves, so we can't shoot right now, but I'll take the four wheel over there to save a half mile walk. What we do is we take this down to the bottom. Uh, we'll have three guys here, three guys there, and just push it right on down and see what happens there. A little bit chilly out, it's about 30 degrees with the wind coming out of the north, northwest. We got another 10 minutes out here, then we'll get ready to go. Did you spook the deer or did that bird? got the bob man going on our first drive for the day i'm blocking last year i didn't shoot at all so hoping to get a big one today so you guys might have noticed i have a uh, red dot sight this year so it's a new addition but this thing is awesome i'll talk about a little late walking up to our spot climbing the mountain you can tell i'm out of breath but i just climbed this massive hill i'm tired but there's where I killed that doe last year. You can see that shell I have on the tree. So I can mark who I was. There should be another one over here somewhere. So I'm just gonna post up right here. That way I can shoot forward. Cause they have skirted up this way before. And I can also shoot down cause Caitlin's right there. Christopher, Bobby, so we're aligned right now. So here's my shooting lanes right there. Two shots off. I got to see him there up on top of the hill there. That was us that just shot too. And sorry, so if you guys, if I put stuff in where the camera's black, that's how I differentiate. So I can find that clip easier. Well, I might have lied. I'm guessing that it was the drivers that I heard crunching up in there because I'm starting to hear their voices which means they're getting close so this might be the first drop block I've done on this hollow where I haven't had any deer come down through the valley there are three of them up on top of that hill right there hope you guys can see and that's where I got two shots at them there's a driver so I'm guessing this drive is over darn it so this is the first time that I've uh I've sat in this spot and haven't had a deer either, I know I had one time 30 yards, 100 yards all the way down the hill, 50, 50, I mean, it's, there's always deer that go this way. And we finally had it blocked right on this side and they don't come. Oh well, hey, that's deer hunting. There's a reason why it's called deer hunting and not deer killing, because it's, it's a sport. You're not going to be successful every time, you're going to be unsuccessful a lot more times than you are successful, that's for sure. And I do want to talk about this, I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, so this is a reflex sight that was sent to me. This thing is absolutely awesome. It really isn't, it's a it's a pretty budget scope, but it's pretty dirty. I mean, it's very stable. It's basically, I think this was like 90 bucks or something like that. I mean, it's a really nice one. I, I 
was kind of skeptical about getting a red dot sight. I was like, ah, oh, what's it gonna help? But I was kind of surprised. This thing is actually, it makes it much easier to see as opposed to all I had was this kind of iron sight at the end. And what the difference is, is with this iron sight, I can't see what's below the sight. With this red dot though, it's just a dot and then it still gives me a field of view around it. So it makes it much easier to see, much easier to line up my shots. I like it a lot. So if you guys are curious, I'll leave a link down in the description. Yeah, this thing is nice. Hopefully I can uh, shoot a gear with it. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna guarantee it's gonna improve your accuracy. I am not guaranteeing that my accuracy is gonna improve, but I did take this thing out to the range and I had a pretty good grouping. I think uh, four inches at 50 yards and 12 inches at 100. That's what I was, maybe a little less. I'm not, I can't remember, but I had a pretty decent grouping for my skill set. But anyway, driver, driver, this one's over. So card to this video right here, guys, where last year I shot right here Basically right where that orange is, about 50 yards, bang, dropped in her spot. See anything, Melski? A lot of turkeys. I did see a lot of turkeys too. A nice buck up on top of the hill. Oh, yeah? yeah, and basically skirted in between him and Bobby. Bobby said he had two fawns and a spike come 30 yards from him. He says he didn't want to be a, his first deer of the year to be a 30 pack. Yeah, I, don't I don't either. Did you see the one that Scott was shooting at? No. Cause I just saw two of them that were up on top of the hill that went behind you. There was yeah. Two young does I think I got too far to the right mm -hmm. there was a little bit. Did you have a shoot shot at him if they would have been good? Uh, the buck and I just kind of stared at each other a little yeah, bit. I was, kind of I was facing forward, but he was at like yeah, seven yeah. o'clock, so I'd have to like turn the way I got to the right, right. I saw a little yeah. Alec Next time I'd have you be back just, just a bit and up a little bit. I think, yeah, going a little higher next time. Well, we just had two shots up on top. Three shots up on top of the hill. Yeah, the drive's been over for 10 minutes now. Half the guys are already walking across the field. All done. Don't think we got one. Did you kill any, kill any with your bare hands? Uh -uh. See anything? Yeah. Did you shoot it? They were running. So? And there was people up there. Oh. Oh, I see white. What's that? No, I don't think so. Uh, Scott shot at a couple. Notch. Yep, notch, so hit the D. 30 packs. <laughs> yep. Come your way. If it was between you and him, they would, you guys would get them. How far you go? Nope, just don't go don't go up because you don't want to hit the yeah. stomach. So don't, you don't want to hit the intestines. There you go. Yep. That's how you start it. So now just go ahead and cut out the balls. Yep, should be able to, I think. Down first. <laughs> down. Yep, straight down. Okay. And you run into a bone. Yeah, I heard. Did you give him crap? It was a sack. There you go. A little more. There you go. There, now we're exposing. So now just expose that a little bit more. Bit more. Go down this way. Yep, just open that up a little bit more. There you go. There you go. Right. Here comes the warm shower. Yep, so just watch yourself when that stuff starts coming. There. So my Uncle Steve got a real nice one. Well, had a really nice shot at a small buck, but hey, deer's a deer. So apparently there were a pile of deer on this side. We were on the right side. Nothing came that way. It's the first year that they've ever done that. But it kind of makes sense because we got a, a, a wind from the north and do like a run into the wind so they can see what they're running against. So basically they can smell smell what they're uh, running towards. So, hey, we got one deer, had a pile of them. They said over 20. So we'll see what we see in the next one. Got to clean your knife. Yeah, so we just had a doe come from that finger into our drive. Nice. Get your red dots on. Let's go. Yeah, for some reason, a doe walked over there and into the uh, into our finger. So, now there's at least one in here. Oh, I'm gonna walk in. Like I said, it's just a big valley. We're gonna have two guys walking down this side. We'll push them into here. Gonna go this way to a blocker, go across to a two blockers, or go to the right to our blockers. Hopefully they're surrounded and we start hearing shots. Owl. Two of them. That's kind of cool. One right there. Coyote. Damn it, I missed him. Yep, coyote in front of you. He's about 75 yards in front of you. Well. I missed. So my rule with coyotes, guys, if I'm driving, I have no problem shooting at them because 
if you shoot, it's gonna spook the deer, but I'm, there's no, no deer around me. The deer are already moving. I mean, that shouldn't bother many. But if you're blocking, you shoot at a coyote that runs right up next to you, there's a good, there's a chance that a deer was right behind it and it's gonna be, and you just, and your shot's gonna spook it, it's gonna go right out the side, you're gonna lose your chance at it. So that's why I had no problem shooting that coyote, but in this video right here, last year I had a coyote go, I don't know, 30 yards from me, just walk, sit, 20 yards, just sit. Well, I, uh, I let it go and I got a lot of hate for it, but that's kind of my uh, interpretation. I missed high because I could see the bullet hit right above it. Holy crap, it's like World War II. <laughs> Seven shots we just had. Eight. So I could tell these are fresh deer tracks. They were running a couple of them in here. So there's quite a bit of deer in here. I can just tell because the leaves are turned up. People think deer drive is easy and unethical. Well, you walk through this stuff. That's what I like to see. There are eight shots in rapid succession too, so they were really shooting. Well, I didn't have my GoPro on, but I discharged my weapon. I don't know if you can see it. A little, there's a buck down there. I got him. He's probably only about 20 yards away when I shot him, so. We'll go down and take a look once the drive's done. But I'm gonna stay put. I think I just saw some shooting down over here. Bob, I did see a deer drop. Caitlin and her brother shot about eight times. Bob shot twice and I did see a deer drop right down there. So I know we got one down. That's where the blammers were. Those two right there. And yeah, one of their eight shots, there's two drive, two blockers sitting right next to each other. And probably one up on top of the hill. Just got a text from Bobby that said, got one. Bobby's on the board. That means I can't give him crap anymore. Darn it. I was enjoying that. Just so you guys know, I don't think he, you know, he shot seven times last year. Or was it the year before? I don't know. Yeah, he hasn't gotten a deer in a couple years. I'm guessing they got a deer right in there. Well, I see white. Nice deer. Man. Awesome. Okay. Who hit first? Where were you sitting at, Bobby? <laughs> Did you hit first? Right on that stump right there. At a good pace and sort of slow down right here. I'm like, all right, let's. Knock you down. Blam. Blammo. We're just hopping on and grabbing the four wheelers right now. I got my dad's truck so I could uh, be lazy and not have to walk another half a mile. We got a nice team buck with the three younger guys that were out that were uh, hunting with us. Christopher, who looks like he, I think he's like a senior in high school. My brother put the finishing kill shot on it. And then uh, Caitlin, who's probably a freshman or so in high school, if I was guessing. So really nice deer for those three to shoot at. They both, they all unloaded eight shots or so. So Christopher was the one that hit it. Uh, the fatal shot on it, and my brother put the kill shot on it. Cause the first shot basically hit right in the bread basket, right in the guts and everything. So it would have ran for a couple miles, but it would have eventually died. But it ran right up to my brother. My brother put a one shot right through the heart. Bam, boom, bang, shalada, done. Should work. Oh man, what a he-man! Don't even need me. Who shot first, you or Caitlin? Caitlin, and then I shot three times. Hey, 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 I got you guys back. Got the actual mic with the camera. First drive, two drives done, two bucks down. Let's keep it going. I yeah, bae. I yeah, bae's. We're on our way to our next spot. We're gonna go blocking. Got a good buck. Last drive. Stay tuned. Drive number three for the day. We parked our trucks way back over there. And I'm setting up the block. We're gonna go down a couple fingers in our property. I'm already winded. Got a kill shot on a nice buck. The last drive. Chris, another kid, he put the first shot on it. He was wounded, but not quite down. So I put on the kill shot as he ran up towards me. I'm trying to get into my spot here. As you can see, it's kind of brushy. Deer. I'm just going to get in here because Bob will be up there. Got two people up there. And I'll be down here. I'm on my blocking spot now. I'm on a rock. Kind of like that rock right there where I can see over top and look around. I got this nice tree that I can lean against. But I got a shooting window right there. And then I got all this backside here as a good shooting window. Then my daddy's down in the orange straight ahead. Can't really see him. 
Let's get ready to go. We're gonna push basically this one and this one, two hollers down at the same time. Usually we don't do this one until Sunday, but we are you talking to? All right, we'll see you about Oh. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. I'm really good at it. That's what I thought you were doing. Okay. But we're doing it today because the wind's right. Tomorrow we'd have to push it up. We don't want to do that. So we're gonna do these two together, then this one, then that one. That'll probably be it for the day. So just to recap, this is drive number three of the day. Hopefully we get five in. Hopefully we can get five more deer. We can go home and call her a day. We'll have some beverages. Definitely one of the easier drives that we have. It's like this nice open pasture for the first two thirds. Then it gets woolly towards the end, but you'll see. Now here's where it gets not so nice. Fence line is right there, the property line. Comes at an angle, so Mel's already crossing it, so it's gonna be a little bit slower going from now on. Or two thirds of the way done. I hear some. Steve says something about two deer in front. I sure have me. Yeah, I hear him in there. I hear him, but I don't see him. Yeah, so that, that sequence went, Steve was saying something, and all of a sudden I heard crashing. So there's somewhere straight up ahead of me. Unchamber the gun, set it away from where I'm gonna cross. I'm just gonna crawl underneath here. I'm guessing they ran up that way, which is fine because our next drive is that way. So we're not too concerned. Oh, I see our first blocker right there. This is kind of neat. wonder what this was. Yay. Looks like the drive is over. See the blocker's already moving. So I must have been a little bit behind, but heard deer. I didn't see him. Steve must have saw him. See if the other guys saw him. Okay, well, we just finished up drive two. There was a few shots. I don't know if we got anything, but we're still, they're still out looking. Jamie Clausen and Lynch Wager, they come around the bull nose here and they did kick out three deer that crossed across the road here. And one's still up there running back and forth. So Lynn actually took it up. Because we do have two drivers or blockers up there. So, oh well, it's noon and we still got some hunting to do. Me and I was busy throwing up my breakfast. In <laughs> fact, <laughs> he shot it right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> I was like, that's it. No breakfast, no drinking, no more. Yeah, this is what we call a little hollow. We're just starting. We'll block this right side here. Going up the hill. Those guys will block the left. Some blockers over there. They're gonna block the right side. I am one of three blockers on the right side. Or the left side, whatever side I said. Uh, I'll be covering the middle. Then you got two people above me. Blammo time. Okay, I'm tired. I just walked from way over there to here. And now we're into our property. And we'll drive this all the way down to the bottom. Hopefully we get a couple deer out of this thing here, so. Time will tell. Oh, I'm tired. Or old, one of the two. I'm trying to remember where I was. I'm looking for one of my shells I put on a tree. There I am. This would be a good spot. I'll get in front of that tree. I'll be able to cover up to there. And down to Caitlin. Caitlin's right there. She'll be able to cover down there. There's my shell from last year. The deer I shot was like 15, 20 yards right there. Someone just shot right there. I know I didn't have the camera going. Sorry about that. But I heard him because I heard, I heard the shot and I heard it go whew. So it went in the timber a little ways I can hear. So the deer must be busting out this way. That was only one shot, so it must have been a prayer. There. They're out. There they go. Three. Four.
shot, so that's why I decided not to shoot. Because I had a shot, I had a relatively clean shot, but I just wouldn't have been smart. Well, that was exciting. Little doe ran through. That's a good job of Caitlin knowing her shooting lanes. The doe right here, across, she should have shot once. She shot again, waited. When she crossed me, she waited. She raised up, went back and kept shooting. Good job, Caitlin. Well, we're almost to the end. I can see the blockers up there. And I just heard five shots, but it's not good when you get five shots because I know there's not five deer dead. That was a dud of a drive. We're walking back to the trucks. We did see one doe. Some people took some shots. They're looking for blood right now, but I'm not optimistic. I know the, the first two shots, I know she didn't get hit. We, uh, didn't fire a shot over here, but there was a few shots on the other side, and it sounded like the deer went out the other side. Lots, 10, 12, 15 on the way it sounds, but hopefully they got a couple. But when I hear five shots in a row, I don't like that. This ain't good. Looks like Ron's gonna be doing some fencing. Huh, that's a big tree. Ron will get it out. You can see they're gonna walk up to the fence line, and then we'll cut over, and we'll drive this all back. And then when Lynn gets up to this point here, he'll call me and I'll go up over the top because we do live some deer come to this spot and that spot there. So that's what I'm here for. Also found a flag. We are walking to the honey hole. Well, we'll see how this goes. The last time we hunted this, there was a pile of deer in here. So cross the fingers. So this is the property right now. Basically just went down, curled back around, stayed on the property we have permission for. Like a good ethical hunter. And there's another skull. See more skull today than deers. Not really, but kinda. I hitched it to the gun. There's someone's uh, tree stand. Oh, this is getting thick. Okay, so I see my other driver coming down. See another one up on top. We're gonna be good. Basically any deer that I kicked out through this way, we have them all walled in, hopefully. This is my dad's pasture that we just got to. Our cows are in it all year. Well, not all year, all summer. And stuff is thick. Like really thick. But we'll keep pressing. Oh hey, there's the path up to the field. I am really sweating. This has been a hike. This, this is so fun. This is a lot of fun. Do I look warm at all? This is fun. <clears throat> Guys, I'm very frustrated right now. I know I shouldn't be because any day in the woods is better than a day in the office, but it sucks. That was a lot of work, that drive, because I had to make the cover. Essentially two guys were zigzagging. It was thick, stabbed myself. It's fun, all that work for no deer. But it is what it is, no deer. All done for the day, nothing to pick up. Well, that's gonna conclude today's festivities. We're gonna go gather vehicles, go home and shower, and meet at the deer shed. It was a fun day. Minus that last drive was very frustrating, and yeah, I always just got mad. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So yeah, we'll uh, catch up at home. Late night editing, editing session at the parents. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you very much.